In this video, I will show you uh, how to use the Excel uh, regression function, uh, both for simple and multiple regression. We have data, uh, advertising dollars, TV dollars, and gross revenue is um, given to us. <coughs> In this application, if we assume that uh, we are predicting or forecasting or estimating um, the weekly gross revenue, um, when we have radio advertising and TV advertising expenditure or budget, uh, then um, we must uh, set weekly gross revenue as the Y variable or the dependent variable. And each of these uh, advertising budgets as independent variables. So I will name radio advertising as uh, independent variable 1, x1, and TV advertising as independent variable 2 or x2. With that, let's go ahead and perform simple regression um, for weekly gross revenues on um, TV advertising. So <clears throat> for that, I need uh, the to go to the data analysis tool pack, but notice that I do not have data analysis uh, tool pack available. So you go to the data menu, and if it's not here, if the data analysis tool pack is not here, you must add it by going to File, Options, Add-ins, where it says Manage Excel Add-ins, click Go, check off Data Analysis Tool Pack, and say OK. And now it, it's here, so you click on it, search for Regression, OK. Our Y range is our dependent variable. I will highlight cells B1 to, B9, uh, to uh, B9. You should not um, click on that column because these empty cells will be included and that's not correct. So what you need is the actual cells that hold data. Uh, our X variable, in this case I'm using column A. Notice in both of these uh, ranges I have included the column headings, cell A1 and B1. For that reason I'm going to check off the labels box. I want you to get in the habit of doing that, include the column headings, and that's because the output is going to be much more user-friendly uh, because those variable names will appear in the, in, the, in the output. For the output range, this is where um, we want the results of regression uh, to be uh, shown. So I will include that in here, in cell A15. And with that, I'm going to click OK. Uh, do not check off this constant is zero. Uh, we want the actual constants to be computed. <clears throat> so with that, uh, notice that uh, because I included the column heading, this cell right here uh, holds that uh, variable name, so we know that our independent variable is x1. <clears throat> so these right here are the intercept and slope for the simple regression um, calculation that we performed. For this analysis, notice that um, our coefficient of determination, or R squared, is 0 0.0004. That's 0.04%, uh, which is very low and very bad. It's not a very predictive model. So um, let's go ahead and try uh, simple regression with the other independent variable and see if we have a stronger relationship between TV advertising and gross revenue and to see whether TV advertising is a better predictor of gross revenue. So I will perform the um, another simple regression. So I will go to data, data analysis, regression. Because I used regression last time, that will be the default. So that's why it's already highlighted. I will say OK. Now my Y range is still the same, B1 through B9, but my um, X range is going to be C1 through C9. Labels are checked off. My output range, I would like to 
include that uh, the results over here uh, in cell E1 and I will say OK. And notice that now uh, TV advertising is um, is my independent variable and this is the result of my um, regression or my re um, regression this is my regression equation so for this problem right here um, I will put this here I can say that um, revenue or estimated revenue is equal to um, this intercept 88.64 I'm rounding plus 1.6 times TV ad dollars. And for this one, I can say that estimated revenue equals <clears throat> um, my intercept, which is 93.86 minus, notice the minus sign uh, for the slope, minus 0 0.04 times um, radio advertising dollars. <clears throat> and so this is my um, simple regression equation for our radio ads being the independent variable and this one is uh, my simple regression equation when TV ads it, uh, is my um, independent variable. Notice the R squared here is much better. So 65% of the variability in re revenue can be explained by TV ads. Well, let's see if um, we do any better if we um, <clears throat> if we use multiple regression and use both radio and TV advertising as independent variables and as predictors of revenue. Um, in order to perform multiple regression, your independent variables must be in adjacent or contiguous columns. So if this is a situation, I must um, copy there we go. Uh, we must um, make sure that the um, TV and radio advertising, which is our independent variables, are in columns that are next to each other. Um, with that, now we can go back to Data Analysis Tool Pack and use regression. My uh, my Y column now is here, column A, uh, and my X range, I will highlight both columns at the same time. Labels are included, and I want my output to appear for this multiple regression to appear in, let's put it over here in cell O1. And when I say OK, uh, my output is going to be listed right here. Notice that um, my R squared or the co co uh, coefficient of determination jumped all of a sudden to almost 92%. So by including both of these um, independent variables in the analysis, we get a much better um, predictive model. So I can say the estimated revenue is equal to 83.2, I'm rounding, uh, plus 2.29 times uh, TV ad dollars plus 
1.3, a 1.3, yeah, 0, I'm rounding, times radial add dollars. So, um, <clears throat> the interpretation of the rest of this um, output, of any of these outputs, um, must be done in a separate video. I have other videos and I have other um, handouts that um, deal with that. But the purpose of this um, uh, particular video was to show you how to use Excel's um, data analysis tool pack. Thank you.